Hi, do you guys know Edison Ray? I talk about her in passing in a lot of my videos these days, but I really wanted to focus on her today, and what I specifically want to look at is he's all that. I don't want to stare at your underwear while I eat, dirtbags. A hot Netflix original movie, so you, you know we got the branded seal of quality there. Humans are so interesting. <laughs> And if you remember, She's All That, this is the sequel? Remake? It's a remake of She's All That. It's a remake of She's All That. And boy, is it an absolute masterpiece. I enjoyed every moment of this movie, and I want you guys to experience it with me. So let's get in there, let's crack some jokes, look at product placement. And the marshmallows. I forgot about the marshmallows. Mom! And the beautiful acting of Addison Rae. Uh, how could this happen? So they didn't even bother to put Addison Rae, like, on the Netflix thumbnail or the trailer for the movie. They just completely left her out, even though she's, like, the selling point of this movie. But anyway, we're introduced to Paget, our main character. She's kind of like the perfect little princess, and she is a makeup influencer or beauty influencer. She pays her mom's bills, helps people online, and makes cookies with almond flour because of gluten and intolerance is beautiful, popular, Gee, I hope we get to see a character flaw that she works on in this movie. <laughs> so in this movie, you'll see that everything bad happens around her, and it's never her. But I don't want to spoil too much, because in three minutes in, this was said. And a gentleman on meth with a stab wound to the neck. Yikes, what a nightmare. Yeah, it was pretty awful. They were just thrashing around, cursing at everyone, spitting on the orderlies. Man. Meth really messes you up. That was a really casual reaction to meth messes you up. So as they're setting up the movie, Paget gets picked up by her rich friends to go to school, and they talk about her insanely popular pop star boyfriend, Jordan Van D... D... Jordan... Jordan Van D... Let's just hear some of his beautiful music, because they say that he's absolutely gorgeous. The guy's completely gorgeous with half a million followers. What does he have to be stressed out about? He's gorgeous and talented, so so let's see some of that. So this guy, number one, he's definitely old, and he looks like he should be on the cast of Jersey Shore. There, I said it. I even made this image to prove it. Oh he literally God. fits right in. He should not be at this high school in California. He should be in New Jersey. We'll do it live. So when I cue you, press this button and follow me inside. Okay. I know how to work the phone. Thanks. And action. Okay, guys, we're live here, and surprise, we're on the set of Jordan's brand new video in beautiful Hollywood, California. <coughs> Canoga Park. Same thing. <laughs> I can't wait to see his face. They're setting up the plot, main plot point of the movie. So the story takes a wild turn and we're only six minutes in. So the weird cookie puff things that Paget made with almond flour, she just wants to be a nice girlfriend and surprise her boyfriend, Polly D. I mean, Jordan Van D. But so she goes to surprise her boyfriend with Kokumbush, which I had to Google, and she finds Jordan cheating on her with a backup dancer, to which she reacts like anyone would. <laughs> And says this. Which this line made me audibly laugh out loud. I knew from this moment that this movie was going to be a joyous ride. But uh oh, she didn't know that she was still live. You're still live. And it's Madison Pettis? The girl from Cory in the house? Unironically, I do really like the montage of everyone seeing the video still live as the breakdown is happening. Although it be a little cliche, it was just the right amount of cheese for me. I just want to be alone. I went to all the trouble of putting cereal in a bowl with milk. Lucky charms? Mom. I went through all the trouble of putting cereal in the bowl. And then I had to add milk. And then I had to put a spoon in it. Suit yourself. Mmm, wow. And the marshmallows. I forgot about the marshmallows. Mom, give me a break. I've been eating moose licks for 10 years. Gee, this cereal that I just love and they didn't pay me to eat this on screen is just so good and mmm, I forgot about the marshmallows. Oh, how delicious. That sweet, sweet sponsor money. At least everyone got to see what an asshole Jordan is. Yeah, I guess. You guess. Who holds their phone like that? I know she was probably holding the phone normally while shooting and the director was just like, higher. Good. Put both hands on it. Okay. Good. That's good. Good. Action. 
What is going on? So Paget finds out that her video of her breakdown went viral on the internet and that she's become a meme and that people are twisting the situation way out of context and passing judgment without context. Sounds about par for the course. And immediately after, she finds out, oh no, it's my BFF, Kourtney Kardashian calling. You're going viral in the wrong way. Okay, so you saw the video and well, it is unfortunate. Unfortunate? My ex-husband's hiking accident was unfortunate and he was mauled by bears. Oh my God, is, is he okay? Better than you. <laughs> head to toe, not head to nose. Oh. People buy products that you recommend. And I'm still that girl. No, you're a me. You're bubble girl. And mucus is just not on brand for us. But I'm sure you can get another endorsement, maybe with an antihistamine company. Sweetie, I am your biggest supporter. No one has more faith in you than I do. I am your biggest supporter. No one has more faith in you than I do. But until you turn things around, don't talk to me. So Paget loses her sponsorship with Bunny Venom and Jordan, her ex-boyfriend, is somehow gaining followers from the situation. I checked his profile earlier and his numbers are actually going up. Okay, that's ridiculous. I just feel like if this happened in real life, both people would be gaining a bunch of followers. It's not like this was a James Charles, Tati, Westbrook, Shane Dawson situation where there were some serious allegations being thrown around. Like this was just that she became a meme. I think that would gain her more followers. Like that's amazing. Yo, yo, what's the hat? <laughs> Makeovers are my thing. Exactly. And I made that guy. Oh really? So why don't you just make another Jordan? Attention Earthquakes, the big night's coming up, so don't forget to vote online for your prom king and queen. A tremendous honor they'll always remember, unless they throw up in their date's shoe in the limo and remember that instead. So Paget's big plan to redeem herself is to become prom queen and transform another guy to be her prom king. And that's somehow translating to getting her sponsorship back and redeeming herself online. Uh? I don't think anyone cares. Oh shit, she won prom queen? Alright, I guess I'll follow her again. That's pretty dope, and I care. So then Paget and her friend make this really insidious bet. You don't think I can do it? No, but I do think it'll be fun watching you try. A bet, not just a bet. The bet, you know, the one we always talked about. Um, guys, that sounds a little extreme. Are you sure that's a good idea? Oh, sure. It'll just make it more fun when I win. Okay. Okay. I'm in. Good. <laughs> that she and her friend that I can't remember the name of bet if she can actually pull this whole thing off, if she can actually transform some random dude into prom king. This went from a lighthearted teen comedy to if you lose this bet, I win the souls of your unborn children. But so now we're finally getting into the meat and potatoes of this movie. Who is Paget going to transform? You guessed it. The guy that they showed in the trailer and not Addison Ray. Queller, what the hell are you doing? Just taking pictures of what the wastrels at this school throw away. So now you're photographing garbage. Okay, come on, look, I mean, there's a perfectly untouched orange next to a discarded math textbook. I mean, it speaks volumes, right? Does it? They write Paget's love interest, Cam, the way that they write every weirdo outcast in every teen movie. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Cam. I listen to rock music. I, I, I listen to a bunch of weird, obscure stuff like Arctic Monkeys and Coldplay. You probably haven't heard of them before, but I really like gorillas. I hate that pop they play on the radio. It's like not even music. Like, Hall and Oates is where it's at. Yeah, I'm like the outcast. I'm like super weird and quirky. Like, you could probably tell because I wear beanies and flannels all the time. I love capturing the moment, man. Like, this is art, dude. Just capturing the life of right now right now. I know photography is like not that popular of a hobby, but I just really like it. Like people make fun of me for liking to take pictures. Oh, and I'm a horse boy. Oh, Kelly. So Paget now stalks and harasses Cam for him to be her friend. Kind of like how extroverts adopt introverts as their friend. We don't have any choice. 
We just get adopted. I just want to say thank you for this morning. My butt is so sore, I could barely walk. Things got messy. Uh, context, please? I gave her a writing lesson. I bet you did. Horse writing. Mm -hmm. And then Paget invites Cam to this karaoke party in order to get to know him better. Because we know there's no better bonding experience than karaoke. Was this an homage to High School Musical? I have no idea. I have no idea if this was on purpose, but it certainly worked. Awesome. Okay. Okay. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Totally. That was the quickest exchange of numbers I've ever seen. But also, why aren't phones like that these days where you can just go... There you go. There's my number. Like, that's cool. Cool party. Eating free Pizza Hut is what we're doing. For some reason, there is free Pizza Hut at this party. I wonder why there is free Pizza Hut at this party. Oh yeah, we also find out that Paget is a great singer and dancer. Teenage on top of her having a 4.0 GPA, helps her mom with the bills, and wow, she really doesn't have any character flaws. But so her ex, Jordan, walks into the pool party and, and kind of throws Paget off her performance, and in the spur of the moment, Cam jumps in and saves the day in all their auto-tuned glory. And then, Jordan starts busting his ass to... I'm pretty sure that is my cue to call for a car. And then Cam's friend really wanted a bucket of KFC before they left for some reason. Uh, can I get some KFC to go? Yeah, sure. Awesome. Nothing makes me crave fried chicken more than a California karaoke pool party. Mmm. So Paget makes another excuse to go see Cam again. Sorry to bother you, but I think I left something in your brother's truck yesterday and I don't have his number. Oh, yeah, no problem. No, we were just talking about you. He's standing right in front of me. Do you want to talk to him? Actually, I was hoping I could swing by now to pick it up. Uh, yeah, sure. When do you want to come? Oh, like now now. And is already at his house when she calls. Uh, hello? Hey, can I come over? Yeah, sure. When did you... Oh my god. Sh sure, I guess you can come in. But oh boy, Kourtney Kardashian calls again to flex her acting skills. Ooh, go on. And seemingly, everything is on track for Paget to get her sponsorship back and redeem herself. So we're like halfway through the movie and we're finally getting some character development from Paget. This is like the one section of the movie they cut out for sappy, sad, relatable time. And then we're back to the craziness. So Paget's flaw is that her parents are divorced. Well, my parents are divorced. <laughs> okay. Which is sort of causing a not enough syndrome. And she basically wants to prove herself and make it up to her mom who's worked so hard for her. So she's still perfect. This is like I said, everything kind of happens around Paget, and nothing that she does has any consequences. But who cares because now we get a movie makeover montage. <laughs> Oh my god, he's ripped! This isn't something I was expecting from his character. So the transformation is complete with Cam. And I love this very romantic Madison Beer song they play during it. Please don't copyright me, YouTube, I swear I don't wanna get in trouble. Please don't copyright me, YouTube, please don't copyright. Look, he's hot now. How do you feel? Like I just lost Dancing with the Stars. Well, if I didn't know any better, and you met my brother, I'd say you look pretty hot. Right, Patrick? That's kind of weird. <laughs> That's still a kind of weird thing to say. The way she put it was just kind of weird. So now they're going to a great Gatsby themed party. It just seems all these high schoolers do are throw ragers. What are you drinking? Oh, it's my signature B-Day mocktail. Oh, don't worry, they're drinking mocktails. You thought they were drinking alcohol at a high school banger? <laughs> That's illegal. Come on, obviously they're not drinking alcohol. So Jordan now is hitting the new low of lows, and uh, he's definitely a pedophile. And he hits on Cam's little sister, who is definitely like 15, and Jordan is definitely like 
32. Yikes. So Cam finds out this happens and he remembers that he comes from the Cobra Kai universe and just beats the ever-living shit out of Jordan. <laughs> That? I'm pretty sure that was me kicking your ass. <laughs> Not now, Mom and Dad! Cameron, please. Broken heart, huh? Look, if you want to waltz on our bet now, I understand. I mean, the guy's a bigger train wreck than we expected. No. We're still on. What is this bet? It's so ominous. What's gonna happen if she loses the bet? So we find out Alden, I just learned her name, is a traitor and is actually running against Paget for prom queen with, you guessed it, Jersey Shore. You can drop the act. We know you're poor. Stop, please. Oh my God, the camera is genuinely making me dizzy. I'm going to throw up. So then we fast forward a little bit. Cam finds out that he was just a bet and storms off. Oh, Kelly. And then one of his horse friends convinces Cam to go forgive Paget. And we have another Lucky Charms appearance. But not this dish soap brand, fuck them. They didn't pay for the sponsorship, we turned that bottle around. So now it's prom, prom's finally here. So we still don't know what the bet is. I just noticed you didn't bring Cameron, so. It's not coming, okay? You win the bet. And when are you gonna become a permanent loser? I'll get it done as soon as I can. Is she gonna lose her home? Does she have to drop out of school? What's happening? Does she have to cut off a finger and sacrifice it? Like, what is the bet? Why is it so serious? We have some weird ass traditions at this school. And now we get a Macklemore dance off because that's what every 18 year old loves. Macklemore. <laughs> Paget wins prom queen and Jordan wins prom king and she just had this slideshow ready. She just like coordinated it with the school that if she won, she had the slideshow prepared and a speech ready, of course. And she does the whole stereotypical prom speech thing where she talks about just being yourself. This is the real me. And Paget predictably gives back the crown and Alden comes up there thinking that she won because she's the runner up, but she was not. You actually came in fourth. No, I demand a recount. <laughs> There's no need, you actually lost by a lot. Please leave the stage. Thank you. And I love this one person just going, Thank you. So now the movie ends with Cam and Paget making up and riding their horses off into the Portuguese sunset. But man, this movie had everything. It had teen love karaoke singing, bad dance-offs, petty teen conflict, prom, misunderstood teens, sexual assault, betrayal, love, comedy, and Doritos, and guys that love horses. Now, I unironically enjoyed this movie. There, I'll come out and say it. Was the acting great? Not really. She's a nurse. Hmm. I Was there a lot of product placement in the movie? Can, can we get a, can we get a, teen movie trope that ever existed in this movie. Yes, absolutely. But all of that was mixed in this perfect cocktail of enjoyable, cheesy, light teen comedy. You can honestly tell that the movie doesn't take itself too seriously. And I love that. It knows it's being ridiculous at times. I think Addison Rae did a great job for this being her first big acting gig ever. And I know she said in interviews and stuff that acting is actually what she wants to do. So I hope that she goes for it and gets better over time. And I hope I can see some more Addison Rae movies in the future. Because if that's what she wants to do, 
I'm happy for her. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe and drop a like. It helps the channel out so much. I really appreciate all you guys. Thank you so much for 5,000 subscribers. And for that, the next time you see me, I'll probably have short hair and I'll be trying to donate my hair as well. So thank you guys so much. You guys made this happen. I can't wait to see where we go from here and I'll see you next time. Bye. That's really short. That is really short. Oh man. Okay, I can do this. This is a lot of hair, guys. <laughs>